Welcome back to WIFR News, everyone. It has been a hot day, at least silver lining. Had a good amount of sunshine here. But the reason why it was so hot, one of them has to do with our winds. As winds were out of the south the entire day today, saw wind gusts near 15 miles per hour. And even now, sustained winds are near 10 miles per hour. And that is going to keep us on the warm side as we head throughout the night tonight. As temperature-wise, sitting in the upper 70s state line wide, while dew points have dropped ever so slightly but compared to yesterday, Currently sitting at 68 in Janesville, 69 in Freeport, as well as Rockford. That does not make much of a difference. As it is still going to be hot as we go into the overnight tonight. Rockford Kia Max Storm Tracker again, a bit on the colorful side as we do have the excessive heat watches here across the southeastern portions of the state line. But to the north of the state line and toward the western counties, they're in that excessive heat warning, at least when it comes to Monday. They are currently in an excessive heat watch as we get into Tuesday afternoon. But the heat advisories are for the counties that are were under that deep red or the heat uh, excessive heat what uh, excuse me excessive heat watches for Tuesday the heat advisories are for tomorrow's we'll see heat index values near 105 and then again we'll jump up to about 110 degrees for us here on Tuesday yeah there is a lot to go with that as there is many warnings so give me a little bit of a break temperature wise I think we'll get down to 74 degrees overnight tonight came out a few clouds here and there that's going to keep it just a little bit warmer but as we get into the morning hours and especially in the afternoon it is just going to be sunshine as far as the eye can see and most of the time I enjoy seeing the sun, but tomorrow it's just going to be beating down on us as we are going to see temperatures quickly jump up into the mid 90s. I think uh, high wise going to sit right around that 95 degree mark like what's showing in Rochelle and heat index values. Well, we're going to see temperatures again reach 105, if not ever so slightly more. And that is for Monday, and that is just the start. As we get into Tuesday, it's going to be even warmer as winds will now shift to be more out of the southwest, drawing from an even more moist air mass. And with that, this is when we'll start to see the brunt of the heat as heat index values will easily surpass, uh, surpass 110 degrees. So you want to make sure you are staying hydrated, staying inside as much as possible. If you have to do any outdoor activities, Limit how intense they are, and of course, drink plenty of water, eat fruits and vegetables that are high in water content, and make sure you're replenishing your sodium and your electrolytes to kind of help with the cramping as well as helping with keeping you hydrated. Now, speaking of moisture, as we go from hydration to moisture in the atmosphere, we could see a little bit of that fall as we get into Tuesday evening as a weak cold front makes its way through, and with the amount of energy in the atmosphere, any of those could be on the strong to severe side. The issue is when there is a lot of warmth up above in the upper atmosphere, well, that warm air below doesn't rise as well, kind of limits just our rain chances. But as we progress on through the week, can't rule out maybe an isolated to scattered shower or storm Wednesday. But as we get into Thursday, I think this is the day to watch out for for some sh uh, sh showers and thunderstorms as our as a cold front will make its way through. And that is finally going to start to drop our dew points as they will drop down into the comfy area as we get into Friday. But Wednesday, Thursday, still on the warmer side, not as warm, but it'll still be very much on the humid and muggy side. But as we get into Friday, Saturday and Sunday, looking at a much better picture. But again, we got to get there first. Yeah. Let's take a live look outside our primetime audio video East State Street cam. And again, this heat on Monday and Tuesday, dangerously warm. So make sure again, you are staying inside and staying hydrated. I guess it's too early to look forward to next weekend. Hey, I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> College football. Yeah, there you go. That's good. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks.